uh, variable set concept. So why do we use this variable set? So this variable set I have to explain. Why do we you have? Why do we have to use this variable set? So guys, you have a requirement. You have a requirement that customer has given you requirement to create ten catalog items. Ten catalog items. So in the ten catalog items, let me just open Notepad. So customer has given given you a requirement to create 10 catalog items. So in the 10 catalog items, there are actually four common variables, four common variables. So what are those common variables requested for? Requested for, requested by email, phone number. So these are the four variables that are actually common in all the catalog items. So you have to create these four variables in all the 10 catalog items. Okay. So how many variables you have to create now? 40 variables you have to create, right? Isn't it? Yes. So instead of creating 40 variables, what you will do is you will actually create this variable, these four variables as one set that is called variable set. Instead of creating 40 variables, what you will do is you will actually create these four variables as one set. So after creating these four variables as one set, you will be using that variables in 10 catalog items. Is that clear? See, the requirement is actually you have to create 10 catalog items in the 10 catalog, 10 catalog items. There are actually four common variables. So that four common variables are actually, um, you know, you have to create in the each catalog item. So that means in the first catalog item, you have to uh, create these four variables in the second catalog item. You have to create these four variables third uh, in the third catalog item also similar way. These four variables has to be created in 10 catalog items. So end of the day, you have to create 40 variables rather than creating 40 variables, right? What you will do is you will actually create a variable set. So you will create a variable set with these four variables. With these four variables, you will actually create a variable set. Okay. So after creating these four variables as variable set, right? You will be using that variable set in 10 catalog items. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Now I am going to create a variable set here. Okay. Now I am going to create a variable set here. So clicking on new. So you have actually two types of variable sets, single row variable set and multi row variable set. So now I am, I am going to use single row variable set. Okay, now I am I'm, I'm going to create a record uh, variable set here. I'm just creating variables here. So what are those variables requested for requested by email phone number? So those variables I'm creating here.
sorry okay so you have just created a variable set okay so this variable set you have created on this record producer so this variable set order i am actually giving as 50 it should appear on the top that is why i am actually giving lowest order okay now right if you just click on try it here see these wo these variables are appearing here right so i did not actually add container end there in the variable set so i have to add container end see these four variables so i have actually created a variable set i have actually added that variable set to the record producer right i have actually created a variable set this variable set contains four values four, four variables requested for requested by email mobile phone right so this same variable set i want to add to the this variable set same variable set i want to add it to the request access catalog catalog item so this is actually request access catalog item right so what i want to do is i want to delete all these variables except uh, few things 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i am actually deleting all these variables okay so here right if you just click on try it here you can see only these three these three variables only so these only so what i want to do is i want to add a variable set to this catalog item so whatever the variable set that we created right that variable set i want to add this catalog item so here you go here you go to the variable sets here you can just click on edit you can add the uh, you, you can add the variable set that you created so what is the variable set name that we created requested de requested details january so this variable set i am actually adding here to the catalog item and you can you can show the variables on this catalog item as well so let me just change the order here as 10 if you just click on try it here here you can see these variables are added here or not so did we create these variables they are directly added the okay variables. so here what we have done here we have actually created a variable set we are actually using this variable set in the all the 10 catalog items right i have created a variable set here and i used this variable set in the 10 catalog items so that is how you will actually use variable sets guys so if you take a look at the variable set here so if you take a look at the variable set here so in the variable set you have actually catalog ui policies are available catalog client scripts are available so here 
in the record producer level, you have catalog line scripts and catalog UI policies. In the variable set level as well, you have actually catalog line scripts and catalog UI policies. So here, what will happen is that if you write a catalog line script or catalog UI policy, so this will actually apply on the variable set level. So, so that if you have actually added this variable set in all the 10 catalog items, this catalog line script will be available for, will be applicable for 10 catalog item variable sets. Do you understand? This variable set is actually added in only two items. One is request access, another one is actually create garage issue. So you guys are able to understand or not? Did you guys understand or not? What is variable set, guys? Yes, sir. I mean, like uh, this can be added to multiple uh, catalog items, right? You This can be added to multiple catalog items and record producers as well. Record producers, okay. Okay. Clear or not? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah okay guys we will take leave for today okay do we have a lecture tomorrow or let me just stop the recording